I was researching outer space and deep space probes when I stumbled across a NASA document, a PDF document, and it's entitled Deep Space Chronicle. And the subtitle of the document is A Chronology of Deep Space and Planetary Probes 1958 to 2000 and the article the PDF document is written by Asif A. Siddiqui there is a foreword by Roger D. Launius and it turns out that he's is a NASA historian. His foreword is quite lengthy and on page 5 I found something very interesting and it reads Since the Viking landings there have been several missions to Mars seeking to further unlock its mysteries. These were energized in 1996 when a team of NASA and Stanford University scientists announced that a Mars meteorite found in Antarctica contained possible evidence of ancient Martian life. When the 1.9 kilogram potato sized rock labeled ALH 84001 was formed as an igneous rock about 4.5 billion years ago, Mars was much warmer and probably contained oceans hospitable to life. What a lot of bollocks! And this is the rock in question. Um, this website is a uh, NASA JPL website. Uh, look at the poor quality, look at the quality of the, the, uh, the photos. Absolutely disgusting. A uh, billion dollar government agency should produce much better quality photographs. So I don't know if you remember this, uh, this rock caused, uh, caused quite a storm in, in the mid 1990s when President Clinton was in, uh, in, in office, when he was President of the United States. He claimed that uh, NASA scientists have found life on Mars. Uh, they found traces of um, ancient uh, life inside this rock. But seriously, it was, a, it was a global scoop. Everybody was talking about it. But uh, what actually happened was that NASA secured funding for future Mars projects and missions. Um, immediately afterwards, they announced the Mars rover missions. Uh, strange coincidence, right? Yep. But uh, it all fit. It all makes sense. Now, the the lying scientists claim that uh, any rock found on top of the ice in Antarctica, it comes from outer space. Um, but fragments of either meteorites and or asteroids uh, which is a lot of bollocks uh, they claim that Antarctica was formed millions of years ago millions of years ago ice covered it uh, over a million year period and any rock that is above ground on top of the ice would be uh, would be not from Antarctica it will be from elsewhere but uh, you don't have to go out of space uh, all alien. If you look at the, uh, this fault line map, there's a fault line that runs straight across the Pacific Rim. And along the Pacific Rim, rim they have uh, varying levels of volcanic activity. Uh, the Hawaiian Islands here being the most famous, all along here are uh, islands and other places where there are volcanic activity. 
fault lines along the are uh, actually um, edges of uh, plate uh, tectonics. Um, pressure builds up underground, and uh, at a certain point, this built-up pressure has to be released. Ash, smoke, and fragments of rock are blown hundreds of miles up in the air and these debris are then carried to other places by wind. So what you find in Antarctica are fragments from these volcanic explosions, eruptions, not meteorites nor asteroids as the lying scientists claim. Right, uh, back to the article and it continues. Then about 15 million years ago, a large asteroid hit the red planet and jettisoned the rock into space where it remained until it crashed into Antarctica around 11,000 BCE. The scientists presented three compelling but not conclusive. Why is it not conclusive then? Piece of, pieces of evidence that suggest that fossil-like remains of Martian microorganisms that date back 3.6 billion years are present in ALH 84001. These findings electrify the scientific world. I got chills, they're multiplying and I'm losing control Cause the power you're supplying is electrifying, 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 But they excited the public just as fully and added support for an aggressive set of missions to Mars by the year 2000 to help discover the truth of these theories. What a lot of bollocks. If any of you out there want to read bollocks like these, then uh, I will, uh, I will uh, leave a link in the description box. It's quite a lengthy document, 257 pages in total. Uh, so if you are going to read it, good luck.